This is how you speed run the OMSCS. Ah. All right, so let's say you want to be done with the OMSCS as fast as you possibly can. For those who don't know, the OMSCS is Georgia Tech's online master's program in computer science. You can do this program completely online. You never have to go in person even to graduate. And it's all under 10K total. So if you want your degree fast for any reason and you just need the easiest, fastest way to do it, here's how. First of all, the specialization which you'll want to choose is human-computer interaction. Now I say this because of all the specializations that they offer, this one is by far the easiest. Now I've done some interviews with people who have done several of these specializations, so go check those out for more details on that. But for the time being, let's say that HCI is your specialization of choice. So in that case, now let's set some ground rules for Georgia Tech's enrollment options. So when you start the program, they suggest that you only take one class to start out. But if your goal is to be done completely with the program as fast as you can, then let's push that to the maximum allowed of two classes for the first semester. This is assuming that you start in the fall and you have fall, spring, summer coming up and you have no other obligations that will take much of your time. So in that case, you can take two classes in fall, two classes in spring, and then there's one ultimate life hack that I'm about to show you. Basically, in Georgia Tech, you can apply to get an exception to take more than the allowed classes of semester per semester. So for example, in the summer, they usually only allow you one class. But if you apply for an exception and you have a 3.0 GPA average or above and four classes completed with the foundational requirement completed, then you can potentially take two classes your first summer. So let's say you're approved for that exception. That being in the fall, you've taken two classes, spring, you've taken two classes, and in the summer, you've taken two classes. That would be a total of six classes done, which is more than halfway. Okay, so now let's continue on in this pattern. If you apply for another exception to take three classes in the fall, which I've known people that have actually been able to do this, then in that case, you are done with nine classes by the time the new year rolls around. So that leaves you with only one class to take in spring of your last semester. This would mean that in a total of 21 months, you could have your master's degree in computer science from a fully accredited university and a top 10 CS school, Georgia Tech. So now let's talk about more specifics of which classes you should take if you wanna have the easiest path to your graduation. So first of all, to fulfill the human computer interaction specialization, some specific courses are needed. The first one is CS7470, Mobile and Ubiquitous Computing. Now, you're gonna need to take this class if you're gonna do the human specialization interaction. I will say though that on my interview with the guy who did the human computer interaction, this class has very light programming. It is not a difficult class, it sounded like. You just need to do it. And so, with that under your belt, you can move on to the second class of the specialization, CS6750, Human Computer Interaction. Now, this course takes the name from the specialization itself, and I actually took this class myself, so I can speak on it. You do no programming at all, so if you're not strong in programming, this is a great course for you. I will say, though, that the lessons you learn in this class are highly relevant to both the professional industry as well as academics. I was actually blown away by this class. It was really well done. It's taught by Professor Joyner, who is arguably the best professor at Georgia Tech. Check out my interview with him. But this class rocks. Okay, back to the show. So next up, if you're done with both mobile and ubiquitous computing and human computer interaction, that would leave you with CS6435 Digital Health Equity. So this is a class that counts towards the human computer interaction specialization and it's very light programming. Sorry, scratch that, it is actually no programming at all and you can work ahead in the class. So if you need an easy summer class that you can work ahead so that you can go on vacation and have some fun, well, this is a class for you. Okay, next up, CS6440, Intro to Health Informatics. Now this class is a very light programming class as well and it counts towards the human computer interaction specialization. Okay, so with those five classes out of the way, you have completed the human-computer specialization requirements, 
and now you just need to fill up your schedule with five easy classes to get that degree. So the five remaining easiest classes at Georgia Tech that I would suggest to take if you're just looking to get your degree and move on are CS6603 AI Ethics and Society, which is honestly a lot of just papers and reading, but not necessarily super difficult. CS6150, Computing for Good, which is focused on philanthropic computer science topics to help the society in which we live. CS8803, 017, Global Entrepreneurship, which actually sounds pretty dope and is quite easy, it seems, on the reviews. I have not taken this class myself. But it sounds like you are able to make a business of your own and describe how it would help society. CS6300 Software Development Process, which I have actually taken myself and can attest to the easiness of it. There is a little programming involved, but you do it in a group, which sounds terrible, but honestly, it's not that bad. And finally, my favorite class of the whole program, CS6250 Computer Networks. Now you may be wondering, why is this your favorite class? Well, I'm a software engineer at Microsoft and I specifically work in computer networks for Azure in the cloud. So I actually really enjoyed this class and it honestly has really good hands-on projects that are not too hard but honestly get you the experience you would get in production, which I can attest to. So given these 10 classes, guys, this will get you your degree at Georgia Tech in the fastest, easiest way possible just so you can get that degree and check that box off the list. And with that specialized hack of filing for an exception to take one extra class each semester that you can after four classes, you could be done with the whole program in as little as 21 months. Now this is incredible because Georgia Tech is a top 10 CS school and the degree you get will not say anywhere on it, online or virtual or anything like that. Your transcript even is the same as a normal Georgia Tech student would be in person. So this is honestly a great option if you need the real credentials to skill up in your career. And again, guys, if you ever need some help, hit me up at the link in the description. I'd be happy to meet with you one-on-one. -on -one. It has honestly really been fun to meet so many of you and to get to know your perspectives as well as help you along in the program. So thank you so much and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one.